How does Saudi Arabia and Libya get water when they have no permanent rivers or lakes? Well, the answer might surprise you. You see, in places like this, where it's hot and arid, where they have very limited rainfall, they rely on aquifers deep under the ground, some of them renewable, but many of them non-renewable. These are known as fossil aquifers. And in today's video, we're going to talk about them. See, water is essential for life. We know this. But not all water sources are renewable. These fossil aquifers are ancient sources of water that were once filled because of climate conditions which no longer exist today. We know that the Earth has gone through plenty of different climatic conditions in its past, from ice house ages to greenhouse ages to wet conditions and dry conditions. I mean, the Sahara was once green due to what is called the African Human Period, and therefore, in certain time periods, it gets replenished with water. In times of wetter conditions, areas like Libya and Saudi Arabia would have had plenty of rainfall and that meant that the ground got replenished with groundwater. But as climate conditions change, these aquifers no longer have a new source of water and they become a finite water resource. Now, these fossil aquifers can be absolutely huge. The largest aquifer in the world is the Nubian Sandstone Aquifer System and that aquifer system actually provides water to Egypt, Chad, Libya and Sudan. It's over 2 million square kilometers and it contains over 160,000 cubic kilometers of water. To put that into perspective, that's nearly 60 billion Olympic sized swimming pools. So how exactly does it work? Well, as mentioned, during past geological periods, the climate shifted, becoming a more wetter environment. This increases rainfall substantially and that water gets infiltrated into the ground. Now, if the water comes across a porous rock, such as a sandstone, it will get bogged into that sandstone like a sponge. Now, the best fossil aquifers are ones which are contained in impermeable rocks. So think of silts and clays. That kind of protects the water and puts a barrier around it, which kind of makes it easier to get out the ground. Not that that was the purpose to begin with. Because these fossil aquifers are no longer replenishing their water supply, they are finite resources. And countries like Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Libya, Egypt, they all require this water, especially considering they have limited rainfall and their populations rely on them. A lot of these countries rely on these water supplies for crops, farming and livestock. And if they use too much water, well, then there will be an issue because it costs a lot of money to get fresh water in these countries. Saudi Arabia spends billions of dollars on desalination plants, which essentially turn salt water into fresh water, which has very high maintenance costs and it just is not affordable for all countries. And if there's overconsumption of these fossil aquifers, it can change the chemistry of the water that remains, making it more salt which just makes it not good for anybody. Fossil aquifers are vital because they provide water sources to countries that have very limited fresh water above ground. But if they're not careful, they could overconsume, and that would be a big problem because a lot of these countries share a single water source and we all know what may happen if one country takes too much of it. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.